Hey guys, welcome to another Saturday Shenanigans. Now this past week, one of our big vlogs was, you know, letting people in front of us choose for drive through So, on that same topic of food, which I'm a fan of, <laughs> I'm gonna touch on the donut. Now, the donut is not just for breakfast, though. It's an all-time food. You can have it in the morning, you can have it in the evening, you can have it at 2 a.m. Donuts are for every time. Yeah, dude, 2 a.m. donuts. 2 a.m. donut? Ugh. <laughs> Some of my favorite, actually my, my, main, my main choices if we go someplace. I love me a balsam cream. I love me an old fashioned. And I love me a Bavarian cream. If you don't know what a Boston cream is, a Boston cream is your uh, your atypical donut filled with a custard, with a, a, a chocolate dip on top. The old fashioned is a regular donut, but it's more, it's got a little heavier consistency. It's a little denser than the normal donut. Cause you think of donuts as like kind of like lighter and usually the toppings are a little like heavier, but an old fashioned doesn't have a topping. It's just dense cake. That's what I'm referring to the inside of the donut as. And then the Bavarian cream is like a buttercream frosting. It's the best way to describe it. I, the Bavarian cream is a lot heavier than the Boston cream. Because, you know, the Boston cream is more of a custard. But the Bavarian cream is kind of like, like that heavy, almost um, frosted type center. So, I don't, you know, you can't go all out on those. But, like, the Bavarian or the, uh, the Boston and an Old Fashioned is what I get at breakfast. If I go to Dunkin' in the morning and I'm hungry and I get breakfast, that's that's my go-to. Bavarian and, and I keep saying Bavarian and that's not it. I got Bavarian. I want a Bavarian donut now. <laughs> I used to like jelly donuts. I used to like the jelly-filled donuts, but I've gotten away from them recently. I, I don't know if I had a bad one or something and I've blocked that that memory out of my head, but I don't like them as much as I used to. Those used to be my go-to. I like my donuts either by themselves, I really don't like anything with them, unless it's a coffee. And it's gotta be a, like, a hot coffee. I don't like eating donuts uh, unless, with, with iced coffee, it's so it's weird. But if I'm drinking something with the donut, I ha it has to be a hot coffee. Uh, or, or a hot tea. Around here, there's not really like donut places around here, but there's a lot of places that sell donuts, if that makes any sense. Uh, we have a sh we have a shoppers nearby, which is Shoppers Food Warehouse. Uh, they won't be open for very much longer. So get your donuts now where you can. They have really big donuts, but they're not. I don't even know how to describe them. They're just donuts, and they're big. Uh, but it's not something that we we get a lot. There's a locally owned place called Donut Connection, which I think is normally a chain, but they moved when they moved into the new building. It doesn't feel like a chain anymore. They cook all their donuts there. Uh, they make all their coffees and teas there. And of course, Duncan, who I don't, I don't remember the last time I went to Duncan, to be perfectly honest. There was a place in National Harbor that we went to once that was really good. I don't remember the name of the place. I looked online, they're not there anymore, so it doesn't matter. But they had like fresh out of the oven, hot, gooey, donuts and I think we went there on like kind of a cold day too so that kind of like enhanced the taste of the donut and the warmth of the donut in your hand when your hands are cold so uh, we kind of just sat and we we got out of the cold and we had coffee and donuts but I remember that place being really good but unfortunately they're not there anymore I like I kind of dig like the hole in the wall places so when I see a donut place that's like a hole in the wall I get kind of excited on one of our trips to Tyson's Corner we went kind of out of our way to visit this nostalgia candy shop called Rocket Fizz. And while we weren't really too impressed by that, we were completely impressed by the Fractured Prune, like three doors down. If you've never heard of Fractured Prune, do yourself a favor and go find one, because perfectly honest, we weren't too sure, like, we used to have one locally, but it got shut down before we had a chance to go over to it. But everybody, like, raved about it, and we were like, it's a donut place, what what could, you know, what's so exciting about a donut? Okay, first of all, do you get a menu when you walk in and you get to check off the type of donut you want? They only have the cakey, kind of, like, denser donuts, but it's because... 
They've got like all these different kinds of flavors and toppings. And they cook them and dress them in front of you. The donuts are coming out like right so they're hot and gooey. Just like the little hole in the wall place we found in National Harbor. Speaking of like getting fresh donuts, there was a uh, beer and music festival locally. I was doing work with one of the promoters for the thing, so we got tickets through work. And so me and Summer went. Uh, the music wasn't oh, wasn't too bad. I like classic rock, but these guys are doing like really bad covers of classic rock. Uh, I got to try a couple of like beers and some even some local beers. But on the way out, they were making fresh donuts. Now they weren't like full size donuts. They used these little mini donuts. We, when we went in, we ordered like a small cup of these things. And then we liked them so much, we bought a bucket of them <laughs> when we left. A half the bucket was gone by the time we got home. They were, the only thing they were topped with was like a little bit of like cinnamon and sugar, but they were, they'd come right out. Like you could watch them like plop the dough in the fryer and then watch it flip over. And then it dropped into the bucket and then they sprinkled it with the cinnamon sugar and then you ate them. Like that's how fresh these things were and they were really good. But I want to try different places. If you guys have a favorite donut place, I would really love to know about it. We're going to be traveling soon. Uh, we're going to be hitting, we're going to be down in Williamsburg in uh, December. Between then and now, we're going to uh, Hershey, Pennsylvania. There's a place there called Duck Donuts, which is supposed to be really good. I'm coming for you, Duck Donuts. And then next year, we're going to Disney. So we're going to be in Orlando. So if you know any good donut places, or if you've been to any good donut places down in Orlando, not just in Orlando, but like that kind of like generic area down there, like Kissimmee and um, uh, the surrounding area down there. If even if you're in other places and you you have like a local donut place you really like, I'd love to hear about it. All right, guys. So this has been another Saturday's shenanigans. Thanks for watching. And as always, I just want to thank you for uh, liking and subscribing and sharing these videos. Your support means a lot to us. So until next Saturday, this has been shenanigans. <laughs> I don't like drinking donuts with cold. Stop it. I'm gonna hurt you. <laughs> shenanigans, shenanigans, shenanigans.